hey guys it's a while welcome back to a new video now in this video i want to talk about optimism finding optimism finding hope finding something to live for as an art today because understanding life or what it is makes it like completely hopeless empty unfulfilling worthless i get everything like that but while we're here the best thing for us to do is you know what pleasure seeking animals we got to find our pleasure for as long as we can we have to avoid pain for as much for as long as we can so finding um I mean, being optimistic about something it makes you feel good. Well, yeah, why not? That's why um, in my videos, I've always mentioned if you want to find a relationship as an alternative, go do it. Just don't reproduce. Make sure you're on the same page with who your partner is. Live a child-free life and enjoy the rest of your life. Why not? It's good to fall in love. You'll find the right person. It's fine. Now, I know all of that has been optimism, optimistic. And yeah. I think that's needed because before I met someone who currently made me feel very optimistic or give me something to live for, I couldn't deal with, I was just dealing with life all in my head, all alone. I could only share my thoughts here on this channel and that was it. I couldn't share my views with a lot of people. Maybe I share with one person or two in real life and that's it. But finding optimism, being optimistic about something, looking for something new, meeting someone new, going someplace new, I think it's enough to spark up a little bit of interest in you, something you didn't, something that died when you find out the truth about our world. Maybe you can find something that sparks up that interest again and makes you go for something. Because if you check, if, if you check, um, the video I did, uh, I think two videos ago, I said that I had a complete lack of motivation. Complete lack of motivation, complete lack of anything, complete lack of wants, complete lack of needs. I didn't want anything, I didn't need shit. But ever since I met this person, uh, I'm optimistic because I want things to go the way I hope it does. And now, exactly the same thing again, I'm having hope about things now. Because we seem to understand each other so much i hope things work between us i hope i hope things go as well as i just hope you understand like but all of that optimism because i am a pessimistic person by default i'm caught in between those two things you know there's a voice at, at the back of my head you know that keeps saying you, you you know this can be a very bad idea right and yeah, it very well can be. Relationships don't really, most relationships don't end well. But because she understands me, like we just do understand each other, man. And that that makes things easier. That makes things a little bit more straightforward. It means we can talk things out. Whatever our problems are, we can actually discuss it. I mean, I've always had problem dating people that are stupid. But she's not. <laughs> and that's awesome she challenges me and i wouldn't want this to end but at the back of my mind i know every beginning has an end so yeah optimism is the only way you can live this life to at least feel a little bit decent not like depressed all of the time because if you don't, if something new doesn't come into your life, your life is just going to remain the same. It could be a person. It could be that you move to a new location. It could be any of those things. But you need something new in your life in order to live. Yeah. Not to live this life. Not just survive. In desperation, in depression. And, you know, I know, I hope that happens to be a phase for everybody. Like something you can actually step out of. Because it definitely doesn't feel good. It doesn't. That's why you got to find something. Anything at all. You could learn a new skill. You could learn something new. It could be anything at all. You could pick up a whole book or an old project. You you lost interest in. And try to recondu that interest all over again. Because 
except for that there's there's nothing left to do i mean about the last two months i met a few effortless online in the last few months two effortless online and they're both gone now they're no longer with us and i really was at that point before i met the person and both of them okay at least one of them he used to say this he said in life you have to learn to suffer or you die so i guess what i'm saying is even though we know everything is absurd we understand we still gotta find something to hang on to to make us sane to keep us sane before we jump into a fucking lagoon. I don't know. That's our shit here. <laughs> Alright. I'm done ranting. I'm not wasting any more of your time. I'll see you guys in the next one. For the love of God, don't get anyone pregnant. I'll piss the fuck up.